a couple months, he delivered a speech sharing with us the similarities between music and speech. Let's listen to what he's going to be sharing with us today. Please welcome Ben Zang on the stage. Thanks, Christina. I come up to the stage, pick up, pick up the violin, play a beautiful piece of music perfectly. After I finish, I receive warm applause from the audience. And I feel very satisfied with my face. Thank the audience and walk us to the stage. That is the moment I have been dreaming of. And it's motivating me to keep practicing since I picked up violin four years ago. In the beginning of last year, I was thinking I should be able to play something in front of the audience. My violin debut in last summer in the community party at the bonus park. The song I picked was uh, Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis, which I had practiced for thousands of times. Before I started playing, I gave a brief introduction to serve as a warm-up. Once I started playing, my fingers were shaking. It was not my bridal shaking, <laughs> to be clear. I got nervous <coughs> and made mistakes. It was much worse than I had practiced at home. Was the audience giving me applause? I didn't feel like I enjoyed the moment. I attributed my poor debut to the lack of performing experience. So I kept looking for opportunities. If there's no one invited me to play violin, I could I can create it by myself. I got busking license. I played at downtown streets. I played at the uh, Citroen station during Stampede. I invited people to come to where I play violin, listen to my violin at the side camp. I thought I really got enough performing experience. I thought, I guess I could do well in a formal setting. So I voluntarily invited, I voluntarily to offer playing violin in front of around 50 co-workers. Before I start playing, I tried to calm down. After I started the playing, there was a glimpse of thought in my head. I shouldn't make mistakes. It would be a disaster. I mean, <laughs> but I crippled a few notes. And it was not as smooth as I could have expected. Why I still got nervous and couldn't play the piece of music I had practiced for thousands of times, and even I got some performance experience. I started searching for answers. Let me ask, still have stage fright in public speaking. Here, 
I got some tips and I believe that it will help me and you to overcome things right. Whether you are playing music or delivering a speech in front of audience. Number one, choose the right content which is interesting and meaningful. And you really want to share with the audience. If the content is not so interesting and no meaning, you will not be fully charged to prepare and to deliver to the audience. Secondly, be fully prepared and pay attention to any single detail. Your posture, your body language, your vocal variety, your song, the speed of your voice, where you have to put a pose, and where you need to emphasize. Finally, when it's time you are on the stage, think it's not about me, it's the content and deliver And you need to enjoy the moment that I have the opportunity to connect with other human beings at a deep level through the beauty and speech I'm sharing. I'm still in the progress learning to incorporate these elements in my performance since I'm already on stage, and it's Valentine's Day, <laughs> let me play a short segment of Can't Help Falling in Love to conclude my speech. <laughs> <laughs> 